Next week, adults take over the Louisiana Children's Museum, part of the 25th annual Cherish the Children Gala. It kicks off next Saturday, September 23rd. Two of the co-chairs, along with their wives, I would point out, yes. join me this Thank morning you. with a sneak peek. Yes, one of you was bright enough to <laughs> yes. point that out. John it's Nichols important. and Rose Duplessis. Good morning to you both. Good, Good morning. morning. We were dancing around a second ago. I don't know well, what you're doing. Yeah, we were, uh, we were practicing our kid and play we, uh, rendition. No, I don't. I, no, I think what, you have no, to. All right. Yeah. 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 the audience. <laughs> I think I think yeah. you have to turn around. Come on, yeah, no, you got to. <laughs> There's been a lot going on this morning with InSync during the commercial breaks. Hey. <laughs> it's a long story. Uh, I love the um, on the website. It says party like it's 1998. 1998. Yeah. That's right. Uh, hopefully, the audience one? will get yeah. that. 25 years. 25 years since this uh, gala, but 40 years of the fabulous Louisiana Children's Museum, and uh, we're excited about it. Well, yeah. we were talking about that before we went on. Is is we're getting now to a point where adults who have these wonderful memories of the yes. Children's Museum on Julia Street yeah. are now taking their children to right. the, the new facility. I mean, it's generational. It's truly a night where the adults are going to take over and be able to enjoy the museum. But you know, I'm not growing up here. It's going to be fun to watch guys like Royce kind of reflect mm -hmm. on the big exhibits that they enjoyed so like mr bones oh yeah mississippi river all of they got that. the bubble the, machine the grocery store making groceries making groceries yeah, yeah we um my wife crystal and i who's uh, along with uh, mary nickens are all co-chair in this my wife and i we grew up going to children's museum on julia street and actually when our daughter was born she was one of the last children to go to oh, wow. the julia street location before they closed it down and it's been a part of our lives uh, especially since now she's five. We've had birthday parties there. We're there on the regular. Uh, the Children's Museum is just a wonderful, wonderful experience for so many families, and it, it's just a special place. We, we have more to talk about, but yeah. be before I run out of time here, I want to mention the tickets, which started $100, are still available online. Yes, yes right. You can just LCM.org, LouisianaChildrensMuseum.org. Easy enough, and uh, it is not this, uh, not tomorrow, not this week, but the following Got weekend. It. You have a raffle for television. We have a raffle and an online auction. You don't have to buy tickets for either, but we encourage everyone to check out the raffle and to go online and look at some of the wonderful artwork and, and, and gifts that are going to be auctioned off. I, I'm not all that into jewelry and that tennis bracelet. <laughs> yes, sounds, and, and it's pretty nice, the diamond. Want to yeah. talk about Lee Michaels? Yeah, Lee Michaels has donated a tennis bracelet. This is going to be spectacular. You're going to want to participate, and that's by a raffle. So you just buy a ticket, have an opportunity to win. The whole point is to ring the cash register there you and go. keep this sustainable. What's the money go for? Goes towards the organization, so we can serve children, serve families, serve the community. It, it sounds like a bunch of adults um, <laughs> being kids is what it sounds like. Yes, I yeah. think so. Which I believe you gentlemen. You, saw, you already saw that a few minutes it's ago. It's going to be a fun night. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. All right, it. Royce Duplessis, John Nickens, um, thanks so very much for Thank your you time. Thank you for having morning. us. Thank you, John. Yeah. All right.